another tutorial. Uh, this is about the walking tractor and I'm using the rotary plow because that is the one I think most efficient to use in the greenhouse setting uh, and also on smaller plots. It's better than with the tiller. So let's go and watch. Well, I like the rotary plow most because it makes higher ridges than, uh, if, and it's faster. So don't use now rakes and shovels while you have this uh, engine and uh, make use of it and it's part of your uh, machinery unit standards simple so what i'm trying to explain here because of the noise you didn't hear uh, much of it that is once the pto is engaged the rotary plow is turning there and it's moving the soil uh, on the right side so you go down one line and it's moving it on on the right side you come back and it's moving it on the left side if the ridge is small that's enough Since you didn't hear my voice down there in the field, and it's good to do mistakes because my post position or posture wasn't right, not good for the back. So you put down there, and you can see how easy it is to adjust it there. So you can put it back a level depending on your size. That's fine. Then the other one, you put this one backwards, and do that one, and then you can actually, you see turn but you see now when you turn exactly that is what i wanted to happen so this thing this is the pto so it might come here under be careful so this thing must be hooked always in this hook so you have the pto engagement is the left one or where you are facing it is on your right side and the gear is here so your gears you are on neutral when you want to stop because there's no brake. The only brake is the emergency one. If he releases this thing, the engine will go off. Then this is your clutch. While you have the clutch, you can change the gears. So normally you use one, gear one or gear two. Don't use gear three. I tried it. It's running away with you. <laughs> you are flying. So it's gear one uh, for sandy soils and then gear two. And then you are fine. And when you are on neutral is when you can push in the PTO, only in neutral, you put the clutch on, engage the PTO, put back the gear, release the clutch, and then you will see the moment this thing is turning, your PTO is also engaged. And don't come too close to the thing and probably you have proper shoes, not like him now. <laughs> and then the other thing which I didn't explain maybe nicely, we did this very um, shallow so it's actually long because of the sandy soil uh, otherwise it was going to sink in but any other soil if you want this thing to go deeper you actually put it on the last position and i think that's all you need to know and that is for the rotary plow the other one is your tiller which is making a shallower bed a more straight bed uh, and that is your tilts in there you have some spare tilts and the one in katima it comes even with rubbers actually on this side, you have rubbers. Uh, it makes like an 80 centimeter bed. Uh, it's easier to use, it's straighter to use. This one gives higher ridges. It's a bit more challenging. You need to put ropes in the ground and packs. I sent you some YouTube links where other people are using it, different methods. But I think the one I use is fine. And uh, if you use Rex, you can level them. This tractor comes with a harrow if you want to make it like really nice flat ridges. I can show you quotations. You want to add tools from your own procurement. But this is basically how 
how it works. So we are doing the third round now here. We go down. And uh, like what I said, when I came down, I was too down with my back. So what I didn't see, you adjust it here. With these things, you just pick them up, it comes up. If you want to swivel, you do this one and you can work on the side. See, we are getting a beautiful reach here. The tractor will not fit in the greenhouse, you will destroy it. This is for small implements like this one. It is called the BC330. It is a copy of the Italian or American BCC, but it's exactly the same design. You can see the reach here. We are not so straight because we are learning and like I said we didn't put ropes here so when you do this put packs and put ropes so that you go straight Closer to the ridge, right? closer to the ridge. So our ridge becomes larger and larger. It is fine because uh, you don't have the gripper lines on the edge. So if your ridge is a meter, the gripper lines are spaced at 80 centimeters, you are fine. Now if you want, yeah, if you want to walk on the side, don't walk on the on the ridge now anymore. Put on this one. You put it on your foot. You put. Oh, no, that's yeah. And it turns. Okay. So now he's not walking on the seat bed or on the ridge. He's just walking on the side. Closer to your reach, to the right. Like I said, the soil is wet. This is 
a bit low. But uh, you can see our reach. It's not too bad. The rest you can do with the right? So he's doing two passes. Come a bit inside. So that's how you must use it. It's doing its purpose. Ideally you put lines here before you do that to make it straight. So you put coming up there where your wires are, you put a line there and a line there or back so that you have a straight line coming down. So that was it for the rotary till. Uh, what I didn't show you is the other, the, the normal tillage, which is uh, sl um, smaller bats, they are flatter, it's also around 80 cm, but it's quite good. And see there how we use it for the tomatoes. Uh, on sandy soil it's a very flat bed, but it's a rotary till, so it's not a rotary plow. And you can use it as well if you want uh, shallower beds. What I will also do, I'll uh, give you some links, which I will show you there. They are from experts around the world, uh, especially Jean-Martin Fourtier is a Canadian. And there are some other market gardeners, they had some, some very good uh, links. So those links I will send you obviously separately, directly on WhatsApp, then you can link into them. And uh, when you look on the YouTube, you will uh, find good things, but not everything is... Uh, a good reference, so I'll give you those which are really credible and which are actually people who, are, who have tried it. And that's it. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe.